Yeah, well, those factors include speed, visibility on the water that night, and toxicology tests. Investigators have been working both at the scene and at hospitals where several of the surviving victims are still being treated. The frantic woman was on the boat that crashed at the Key Bridge early Sunday morning. What body of water are you in? What harbor, ma'am? Nearly 48 hours later, family members and investigators are trying to make sense of how this could have happened. We start working backwards uh, from where known impact right back to where the trip initiated. According to investigators, the group was traveling from Fells Point back to where they initiated the ride in Dundalk at around 3 a.m. when the boat slammed into one of the large concrete piers that protect the key bridge and then hit another concrete structure. The victims include Kimberly Irvin and Wendy Lawson. A relative at her home Monday declined to talk on camera but said that he wanted people to know that she was a great mother to three kids and a great friend. Lawson's husband, Jerry, the boat operator, Timothy Wilson, and four others were injured. Whether they were distracted or anything else, it's, it's too early to tell, but they obviously didn't see, uh, you know, clearly ahead of them where they were going. Investigators are interviewing survivors, trying to figure out what happened on and off the boat before the crash, and going over every inch of the 37-foot Sea Ray Sundancer. There's also the question of how visible those concrete piers are at night. Obviously, nighttime, it's more challenging for us, you know, to see. Um, generally, uh, there's enough ambient light around to see any of the, the markers that are out there. There are some markers that are lit. There's some markers that aren't lit. And so the investigation into speed will be conducted a lot like in the case of a traffic accident. We know that two of the victims were thrown from the boat. Toxicology results could take several weeks. Reporting live in Baltimore County, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.